would be used. This science lab at Air Academy High in District 20 would be renovated as part of the $230 million school bond issue. It was built in 1959, and right now it is in such shape that a lot of the fixtures don't work. If the bond were to pass, we would get two new elementary buildings, one new middle school. We would also add classrooms to many of our high schools. Here at Air Academy High, water leaks from holes in the ceiling. It's all because of a leaky roof that would be fixed under the bond issue. District 11 has a $235 million bond issue on the ballot and a $32.6 million mill levy override plan. They're more for operational costs, salaries and benefits and people, whereas the bond is more capital costs for fixing and maintaining schools. Like fixing floors and ceilings at Mann Middle School. It would also mean improvements at Madison Elementary. Well, this is a great example of a, a media center that really is short on media, uh, needs refurbishment. This space at Madison Elementary not only doubles as a gym and a cafeteria, it's also an auditorium and a hallway for kids to walk through. In District 49, a proposed mill levy override is asking homeowners to keep paying the same exact taxes they pay now and not allow those taxes to go down, about $20 a month on average. It wouldn't cost taxpayers any more money, but it would generate about $83.5 million to build two new elementary schools, add on at our three largest high schools. District 49 officials tell me several schools in this area are overcrowded, including Ridgeview Elementary here, which is at 145% of capacity. It's been more than a decade since voters approved the building of new schools and at that time we served just over 10,000 students and now we serve about 